Hello and welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to uh, talk briefly about functions in C. So here um, I would like to write a function that calculate the area of a rectangle, assuming that um, the dimension is two and four. So how would I define this function? Now let's start by writing the name of the function. So the name of my function is rec area and I need two basically variables for, for this function. I need height and width. Now in C, you have to specify the data types when you define a function, the data types of your parameters. So I will define this as double, and this is also as double. So I am saying that the first argument of this function is going to be a real number, and the second argument is also going to be a real number. Now, since we don't use indentation in C, I need a curly brackets to indicate the body of the function. So what do you do, what do, you do in this uh, body? I will simply calculate area. I need to declare it as the bell. And area will be simply height by width, semicolon. Now, I would like also to return the result of this function. So I will simply return area, semicolon. So I can use it later in assignment in the main function. Now, one more thing is, I need to specify the return type. Basically, what is the data type of the result of the function? Now, here we are returning area. Area is double. So I have to specify this before the function name. Again, why do we write double here? This is what we call the return type. Basically, the data type of the value I am returning from the function. Why do we have double and double here? This is to indicate that the first argument is of type double. Also, the second argument is of type double. If it was something else, you will write, for example, end car for character or any data type. All right. So if I run this code, I will get eight for a rectangle with um, height two and width four. Now, let's see. Um, what will happen if I change the position of the function? So let's copy the function and paste it down below. Now, when I run this, notice that I get error. Read the message. You have implicit declaration of function rec area. Basically, what, it, what the meaning of this error is the following. Here we have a function call for rec area. However, the function itself is not defined until later, down, down below. So previously, when rec area was above the main function, there was no problem. In this case, um, we have a problem. So how do you solve it? You can either put everything above the main function, just like before, or you can copy the header of the, basically, of the function and paste it above the main function and include a semicolon. So when I run this now, notice that basically the message is gone. What I did is just copy everything before the curly brackets and put it above the main function with a semicolon. Now, what we have here is function prototype. Okay, and this is something in C that basically you can think about it as declaring the function. We are telling C that I will use this function in my main uh, function, for example, and I will define it later in the file. So the definition appears later, but I'm going to use it before its definition. So again, this is called function prototype. By the way, um, you can remove the variable names from the function prototype. So this is still a correct prototype. Okay, the most important thing basically is just the return type and the argument, the 
data type of each argument. Let's take one more example. Now assume we have a function that is just printing. So let's have a fresh page. And this time I will simply have a function called fun one. It will take one argument of type integer and it will print basically the argument plus one. So we have a function that takes one argument, it adds one to it and it to, will to print the result. So if I will call it here, I will add five and I'm expecting to be printing six. Now, this function returns nothing. There is no return statement. So what do we write before the function name? Remember in the previous example, we have double. Double because we are returning area, area is of type double. Here we are not returning anything. If you are not returning anything, you write void before the function name. So when I run this, okay, apparently the online compiler is okay. So when I run this, I get six as I would expect. So why do we write void here? Void is to indicate that basically I'm not returning anything from this function. Okay, that's it for functions and I will see you in the next video.